The B-21 Raider marks a significant evolution in U.S. military aviation. As a dual-capable penetrating strike stealth bomber, it's designed for both conventional and nuclear munitions. Representing the future of the Air Force Bomber Force, the B-21, along with the B-52s, will navigate tomorrow's advanced threat environments. Its role is important in maintaining America's air power superiority. The Raider combines state-of-the-art technology with unprecedented stealth capabilities, signifying a leap forward in bomber design and effectiveness. On November 10, 2023, at around 6.50 a.m., the B-21 Raider, an advanced stealth bomber, took off for its first flight from Plant 42 in Palmdale, California. The destination for this initial journey was Edwards Air Force Base. This flight marked the first public unveiling of the bomber's capabilities and design in a real-world scenario. The event attracted considerable attention, drawing crowds of aviation enthusiasts and photographers to the vicinity of Plant 42. These individuals gathered early in the morning, eager to catch a rare glimpse of the stealth bomber in action. Their presence underscored the significant public interest in this new aircraft, despite the limited information available due to the project's secretive nature. The successful completion of this flight was a critical step in the ongoing testing and development of the B-21 Raider, moving it closer to its eventual role in the U.S. Air Force. Newest Technology The B-21 Raider boasts a sophisticated design, incorporating a flying wing shape similar to the B-2, but with several advances. It features a twin-engine configuration indicated by the presence of one secondary air intake door on top of each nacelle or pod compared to the B-2's two doors per nacelle for its four engines. This suggests that the B-21 is a more streamlined, efficient design. Additionally, the B-21 has unique features like retractable navigation lights and radar reflectors or Lundberg lenses for enhanced stealth. The navigation lights, similar to the B-2, minimize radar cross-section and are retractable during combat operations. The radar reflectors, essential for maintaining low visibility, are installed between the landing gears. These are flush-mounted and strategically located to maintain accuracy in airspeed, altitude, and vertical speed measurements, crucial for stealth operations. Due to the aircraft's low, observable nature, its pitot tubes and static probes are also of non-conventional shape. Nearly identical to the setup found on the B-2, the B-21 also utilizes three sets of four air data probes located on the nose and the cheek of the aircraft. While any aircraft needs a set of pitot tubes and static ports to measure its airspeed, altitude, and vertical speed, they tend to stick out into the free stream for accurate measurements. However, having a conventional pitot static tube will be detrimental to the aircraft's stealth radar return. Furthermore, the underside of the Raider shows a thermal coating applied to areas in contact with engine exhaust, crucial for reducing infrared signature, a key aspect of stealth or low visibility and radar evasive technology. It should be noted that very low observable technology, another term for stealth, not only refers to low detection from radar, but also in other spectrums, including both visible and infrared. Hence, an effort is made to reduce the B-21's detection in several parts throughout the aircraft by applying a gray paint scheme and thermal coatings. Usually made from a carbon fiber reinforced polymer, thermal coatings like this ensure that the engine's exhaust is cooled down to reduce IR signature. The B-21 Raider is a significant financial investment for the U.S. Air Force. With a unit procurement cost averaging $692 million in 2022, the project represents a considerable allocation of military funds. This cost includes the aircraft, support equipment, training, spares, and engineering changes. The Air Force has set a minimum inventory of 100 aircraft, reflecting the significance of the B-21 in future military strategy. This cost was specifically directed by the former Secretary of Defense as a key performance parameter to control expenditure highlighting the strategic significance and financial commitment to this advanced bomber program. 
The development of this next generation bomber is led by the Department of Air Force Rapid Capabilities Office under the direction of the Undersecretary of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment and the Secretary of the Air Force. The engineering and manufacturing development contract was awarded to Northrop Grumman in October 2015, with partners including Pratt & Whitney, Janicki Industries, Collins Aerospace, GKN Aerospace, BAE Systems, and Spirit Aerosystems. A critical milestone in the program was the successful completion of the Weapons System Critical Design Review in 2018, which evaluated the design's maturity, stability, and risk. This comprehensive review was an essential step in ensuring the aircraft's readiness for production and operational deployment. The strategic basing process for the B-22 was completed in 2019, identifying Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota, Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, and Dias Air Force Base in Texas as preferred locations. Ellsworth Air Force Base was later named as the first main operating base and the location of the formal training unit. The B-21 Combined Test Force will be hosted by the Air Force Test Center at Edwards Air Force Base, California, with depot planning at Tinker Air Force Base, Oklahoma. The new Raider integrates sixth generation technology, marked by advancements in both stealth and maintenance. Its open architecture design is key to enabling rapid upgrades, from new weapons to software enhancements. This architecture is critical for adapting to changing threats and maintaining technological relevance. As part of a larger family of systems for conventional long-range strike, the B-21 plays multiple roles, including intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, electronic attack, and advanced communication. It is uniquely designed for both manned and unmanned operations, demonstrating its adaptability. The B-21's diverse arsenal includes a mix of standoff and direct attack munitions, suitable for a range of combat scenarios and is presumably capable of including a second set of weapons in its secondary internal weapons base. Due to this, there is also a possibility for drone decoys to be launched from the smaller weapons base to allow for the main weapons bay to be solely dedicated for munitions delivery. This is referred to as the Miniature Air Launch Decoy System and is being used currently in F-16s and B-52s, and it is presumed that this technology could well be integrated into the B-21 as well. The first B-21 test aircraft was built as a production representative, equipped with complete mission systems. This approach, using the same manufacturing processes as production aircraft, ensures a seamless transition into production and operational deployment. Advanced manufacturing and digital engineering are core to the B-21's development. Northrop Grumman has implemented a digital ecosystem encompassing everything from technician training using augmented reality tools to the integration of supplier parts. This digital approach streamlines manufacturing, enhances efficiency, and cultivates expertise within the workforce. The aircraft will primarily function as a nuclear-capable, penetrating strike stealth bomber. The Air Force Global Strike Command will lead its operations, emphasizing the Raider's strategic importance in national defense. The U.S. Air Force's commitment to modernizing its bomber fleet is clearly evidenced by its plan to introduce at least 100 B-21 Raiders. This new fleet will significantly reshape the Air Force's long-range strike capability. Secretary of Defense Lloyd J. Austin III speaking about the B-21 saying, the B-21 Raider is the first strategic bomber in more than three decades. It is a testament to America's enduring advantages in ingenuity and innovation. It's the embodiment of America's determination to defend the Republic that we all love. In addition to the B-21s, the Air Force plans to revamp its fleet of B-52s, equipping them with new F-130 engines by Rolls-Royce. This modernization signifies the transition towards a two-bomber fleet, phasing out the older B-1 and B-2 bombers by the early 2030s. The retirement of the B-1s has already begun, with a significant reduction in their numbers to allocate resources more effectively. The B-21 Raider, with its futuristic technology, feels like a glimpse into the 2300s. Its integration into the U.S. Air Force fleet heralds a new era in aerial combat, 
showcasing advanced capabilities and strategic agility for modern warfare. Secrecy plays a big part in building these kinds of aircrafts. The exterior is not nearly as sophisticated as its interior design. The way it operates internally is extremely advanced compared to the B-2 because the technology has evolved so much in terms of the computing capability that now can be embedded in the software of the B-21. More than 8,000 people from Northrop Grumman, industry partners, and the Air Force work on the program today, which consists of more than 400 suppliers in 40 states. So, if you like what we are doing here, consider subscribing and hit the bell icon to get notified about the latest videos.